Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And before we get started, I just want to say that I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading videos recently. I've had a lot of things in school and other things in my personal life. I think I'll do the uh, movies first and then we'll get into the TV shows. In the first movie, this is, um, oh, you from my least favorite to my most favorite. Uh, probably my least favorite, that's now in my favorites, <laughs> um, movies is The Truman Show. Um, TV, I haven't seen it in a while, so I kind of forget a little. Um, uh, but East TV personnel, I want to say. Um, wanted to make a TV show about the life of this one kid. See how he, to see how he would grow up living with the same thing every day, every day. Um, so, um, uh, mother, mothers came in who, who were pregnant. They were trying to see which, um, Mother would be new around the time that they were gonna make the TV show. Truman. Um, but, well, yeah. And so, I was like, he was filmed, uh, doing the exact same every day. Yeah, yeah and the producers and stuff could, um, like, change the weather again change who Truman talked to. They tried to make it so that Truman didn't want to leave, that he wanted to stay on that island that he was on for the rest of his life. The next one would probably be Wild Child. Now I've actually seen this quite recently but it came out 10 years ago. Um, it's about this girl who, um, Oh, her mom died, uh, so I want to say she's rebelling, I want to say, uh, by not listening to her dad, by, you know, by throwing these huge ponies in her house. And so he gets sent to, and it doesn't seem the actual boarding school here, but he gets sent to a boarding school in England, the same boarding school that her mom was sent to. But she doesn't know that, not until like, near the end of the movie. Uh, found the help of the, the, the girls at the morning school to help her get back to America. I'm pretty sure everyone is in this movie. Okay. It would be clueless. I'm gonna read what the description says on it. But <clears throat> Men also Beverly Hills High School student share. It's more than she bought for when she is a fashion challenge. When she is a fashion challenge student, a makeover. So yeah, that is that. And then there's some other stuff going on with her and her stepmother and her everything. Her yeah, everything changes for her. I mean, this popular uh, person at her school um, being, I don't know, not, not popular? Yeah. I mean, it would have to be 21 Kemp Street. Uh, I'm exception. When two rocky cops are on the cover to prove a current a ring at their former high school, they're forced to face other health issues from 19 years. So yeah, uh, one of the two guys uh, in, a, in their high school years, one of them was really popular, one of them was not popular. Yeah. And I think it's kind of a comedy as well. I mean, yeah, you have like the drugs and stuff. But, um, there's some funny things going on in this movie. Like, 
favorite movie amongst um on Netflix, on Netflix right now. And that is something that's been on Netflix for a long time actually. Um it's uh it's the longest yarn. It's not this uh one about football one about Paul Who I think. Yeah, Paul Who. Um I think it's in uh, her chase and something and then he he gets transferred to um this Texas prison. Uh, and then he trains the prisoners to go against the guards who are a football team and who aren't them, really. Uh, uh, I want to see the TV shows now. This is an order. One of my least favorite. Uh, uh, my least favorite. It's not my favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> would be Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, you guys probably have heard of the show. It's kind of a, 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 a comedy kind of show. I'll read what the pilot episode says. When a tightly wound, it, wound hat and hat, hats and holes takes over the Chris P-R-E-C I N C T. Here free. Yep, it is Kate Peralta and his ditch fun. It's fun to know who what is why it's not demanding. It's demanding. Okay. And uh, number four. <laughs> number four would be Big Mouth. I'm not going to say anything about that one, I'm, I'm going to let you guys figure that one out. Okay, because I don't want to say anything about it. And uh, number three would be Jane and the Virgin. Um, Jane is her own wife that um, she can't have sex uh, unless she is married. Uh, she goes to the doctor's office one day. And she accidentally gets inseminated with some guy's sperm. And now she's pregnant. So she has a deal with anger from her grandmother. And then finding out who this guy is and how and why this happened. And figuring out what she should do with a kid. Absolutely. Original over oh, the um the newer one here. Right, so I'm looking at it right now and it says that it's available until the first of June, which I am sad because I love Full House. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna read. Wait. I'm gonna read what the pilot episode says. After Danny Tanner loses his wife in an accident, his brother in law, Jesse, and childhood best friend, Joey, move in with him to help care for his girls. And yeah, that's, that's it, really. Uh, they take care of each other, and they go through all of these things with each other. Uh, the girls grow up. Um,. There are a few new additions to the family along the way. I think it's fun. My favorite sh TV show of all time. Those of you who know me personally know what I'm about to say. Bones. <laughs> I love, love, love Bones. Although I haven't been watching it that much recently, I've been doing some other things and stuff. This thing goes, they, everyone thought, uh, they thought that it would end at season 9, and then they thought it would end at season 10, and then at 11, and it's ending at season 12. I'm going to read what the pilot episode says. 
Learn to answer politics. Dr. Brendan teams up with the with FBI agent groups to investigate in, investigate the famous unsolved manner of a young female senate intern. That was my dog. So yeah, um, Dr. Lennon is an anthropologist. She, like I said, teams up with Asian Ruth um, to help solve a runner. <laughs> yeah. So there's 12 seasons of that. If you guys don't, don't know what a forensic anthropologist is, um, it's someone who studies bones, or old, or bones, to discover what happens to them. Um, but yeah. So yeah, uh, sometimes the bone, there aren't any, there aren't any bones, sometimes there's just, like, a finger, or sometimes just a head. Uh, in one episode, the bones actually, um, melt, which I know is impossible, but they melt. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, in one episode, they're covered with crystal. Um, in another, they're separated into 13 pieces, which is significant in that episode. Uh, I will just show. All right, so uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, day, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever you guys are at. And once again, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading the past few weeks. So yeah, I will see you guys. I hope next week. All right, bye guys. See you soon.